This playthrough is rated T for Teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, I'm back here with another uh, bonus content for Soccer Wars 2019. The last time we did it, we uh, we went out with the little ninja girl, and we were guardians. Nothing more than that until she's 19, at least. Or 18, depending on where you live. <laughs> In this episode, we're going to um, show the content we kind of... Some of the content we missed with our lovely actress, Anastasia. Now, this time, I'm actually going to show... One of the few tete a tete scenes in the game. There's one with each girl, though there are other heart moments, but tete a tete scenes are first person um, scenes where you interact with a girl and learn a bit more about them and their situation. It's usually when they're at their most, I guess, vulnerable or whatever. The reason I wanted to show this one is story wise, this kind of a, you know how during the, for those who play the game, oh, one we put in the code. Um, and then, yeah, he's going to check and see if everything actually works by going to the uh, control room or whatever. But you know in the game where Anastasia like betrays the group and everything like that? This is one of the few indicators to kind of show that maybe sh uh, that she's up to something because we see her in here and yet we just got the password, right? Yeah, weird how you're in here, Anastasia. Yeah, shouldn't have it only begun to be the captain? How do you know it? Why are you in here in the first place? But yeah, this, this scene basically says, oh, hey, what's she doing? And then when she finally betrays, you're like, oh, okay. There were signs there to show that, that she had been doing stuff before. Um, oh, this scene uh, occurs while you're trying to find Hatsuho. Um, no way, you're a spy, a spy that makes two of us. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, but she is a spy now that we know. But yeah, this is when you're trying to find Hatsu after Sakura's going, gone all, all, yeah, woe is me. <coughs> well, she, she only caused an alarm because I was here. Which is, there's nothing wrong with trusting you, but I think you should always be wary of people to an extent, you know. Train me. What's going on here? I mean, you are the hottest character out of all the girls, that's for sure. That's, that's why she's number two on my list. Because she's actually a mature woman. Although, what's her age? She's not... She's like 17 or 18 or something like that. Oh, now we get to question her because she's trying to teach us to be more... What are you looking for, scum? State your business. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she's trying to teach us to be a better better captain or whatever, or looking for spies, which is kind of weird. I guess the whole idea is to throw us off the scent. Although it's not like we really had a scent to begin with, at least where Kamiyama's concerned. Yeah, it was just updated. I don't know if I believe you. Who are you working for? The Russians, the commies. Well, you do, man, if that's true. But that's because it's a human emotion of wanting to see her parents, because she's an orphan for the most part. But, and of course, like, uh, Anastasia represents the cliched, over beautiful uh, female character. Um, which, obviously, most people's favorite cliche. Uh, which, I mean, realistically. Okay, so anyway, we get a, a bit of time to, to check her uh, check her out. Um, what you want to do during these tete-a-tete uh, -tete scenes is to... You usually do it to gain trust, so we keep staring at her. Hey, you told me to check you out to make sure there's nothing wrong with you, you know. Yeah, I'm going to keep doing it. Keep looking at the derriere. The derriere! I mean, <laughs> she, she said she was getting annoyed yet you get a trust thing for staring at her derriere the whole time. So, you know, who, who's the loser, who's the winner here? But yeah, just... Uh, oh. Uh, oops. No, I'll just keep... You don't have to get every trust. Obviously, this is one of those games where... You don't have to hit every single trust mark to, to max out your trust. Everyone. You can usually max everyone's trust by, like, chapter 5, if you know what you're doing. Uh, I thought there was, like, a couple other things. Yeah. Well, she has a very nice back. Is that it? I thought... I swear there was a couple other things that... 
I thought it was supposed to be like, maybe it's, I must have grabbed everything. I could have swore there was like one or two things I missed. Huh. Oh well. Oh, ah, whatever. Maybe it's not that big of a deal. I just want to show most of the options you can get. Now, depending on the different girls, they each have like, there were supposed to be different indicators to see what you were doing. Um, if you've got like a, if you got a little monocle, it just means you're looking. Um, if you have, I don't think this one, yeah, if you have the little like dot dot dot, that's a speech bubble. There was also supposed to be ones for like touching, like there's a little hand that appears. Um, there's a kissy motion for kissing. Um, there's also a indicator with hearts on it, which is considered the pervy action, which usually those indicate like um, negative uh, negative trust because obviously you're ogling the girl. Um, and obviously in this, in Anastasia's case, there's a lot to ogle. <laughs> some, some people like to show off their... Um, Show off their assets, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Although, I mean, really, when it comes to men, men like everything about... Most men like everything about women. If there's something that you're not... You're not okay with yourself about, you know, like, from a physical appearance, there's, there's, a, there's a guy out there that... Or girl, depending on what your preference is, that likes that type of thing. You'd be surprised. You know. but, uh, Huh, funny how she freaks out about the pocket situation. Yeah, it's because we're usually looking at other parts of her body when that happens. What the? What are you doing? Your attitude like did a 180 almost there for a second. Uh, yeah, she's trying to distract us. Um, there was a couple other things I could have clicked. I forgot clicking her pocket takes it to the next section. Whoops. Oh, well. Not a big deal. I'm just... I'm just trying to show you, like, all the scenes. The unnatural, unrealistic silver hair. But then again, this is anime. Actually, I'm kind of surprised in this game that there's not a whole lot of crazier hairdos in this game. It turns out like hair color and stuff like that. Because usually, the reason they do different hair colors in anime is they just want to make a character stand out. I mean, if every character was drawn like a typical Japanese person... They would all have the same hair color, so that's one of the main reasons uh, people would be blonde, silver, green, or whatever, um, is to just make them stand out differently from a character so they're not all the same. I mean, obviously you could make characters with all the same color and make them stand out. Other cartoons and shows have done before, but that's one of the main reasons they do it in anime anyway. Where are you trying? Yeah, exactly. Where are you trying to pull? Like all of a sudden you went all lovey-dovey on me, and that's not how Anastasia acts. Well, she's an actor. You know what I mean. Nah, I'm drawing a blank here. I don't know what to say. Her eyes are just piercing my soul. But yeah, every girl has a scene like this. Um, oh, I might have... I might have cut to the next section. I think you could also check like her lips and other things like that as well. But yeah, every tete -tete scene with all the girls has a scene like that where you talk to them, ask them questions, whatever, depending on the girl, and then they have a close-up scene. Where then you can compliment them or whatever. Basically the flirty moment, if you want to call it like that. And each girl has it, even a zombie has it. Um, but at least with a zombie, it never. There's no. There's never any pervy scenes or anything like that with her. But there are what you consider kind of flirty, to an extent. But it's never. It never gets too bad with her. Um, but still, it's there. I think with Sakura, she gets up close and she gets embarrassed because you get really close. Uh, Claris falls on top of you. That's how their scene starts. Anastasia, she just runs up to you. Um, Hatsuho, I forgot what her reasoning to get close to you is. I think she's asking about... Because she, she asks about... Her question of confidence is when about Sakura and all this other stuff. And how people think she's she's just the idiot. Like, uh, support type of thing. Um, Azami gets close because you ask to pet her. You know. Because apparently head patting is a big thing. In, uh, in uh, a lot of these types of games. But anyway, let's, uh, oh. Yep, a little message. Most of the girls, after you have a tete-a-tete, -tete, they'll send you a, uh, they'll send you a message about it afterwards. Um, I think in the, I believe, I wouldn't be surprised if in the American version they cut out a good deal of the, uh, the, uh, pervy actions. 
just because I mean I'm not I'm not sure, but I've heard at least that I've heard Sony has been um because they still publish the game, or it's still on their console, at least this version. I don't know if the Switch version, the Switch version might be different uh, of this game, but Sony has been per specifically censoring a lot of these types of games. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's a lot of stuff that's missing from this version of the game, but this is the version I have. So, but anyway, uh, now we're back to the dating scene. Now let's show, since I don't have to show the, since I already showed the ending with Anastasia, I don't have to go through that again. I'm just gonna show uh, her date and the nighttime date and then we'll call it after that but all right let's talk oh, yeah, her rooms over here but yeah let's see how her how she gets along with Azami. and this is before Better she ends up betraying the group so they'll be interesting to see how that goes um uh, what was i gonna say yeah Azami is 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 my second favorite of all, all the girls because she's your typical mature mature beautiful a model like character who like i said her character is more interesting than even the childhood friend you know usually the childhood uh, see johnny in theater for quitting for becoming my girlfriend i do like sometimes if you wait too long the girls kind of show like look around sometimes where they'll be like are you gonna answer or i definitely love to date a girl like anastasia yeah she seems like i said she seems mature you know she's a uh, exotic and all this other stuff She's probably the appeal for more Western audiences, you know. And she's Greek. Um, oh, yeah, thank you. And she'd probably be even more in a role play. No. Um, yeah, I think I think her character is more interesting than than even Sakura, the childhood friend, even though she has the typical, you know, lost her mother and all this other stuff. But I don't know. I think it's just maybe it's because her personality, or because it's specifically a game where you can. We can have, uh, well, I don't know if I'd say romance specifically, where you can have, uh, have intimate moments with all the, all the girls, yet she clearly gets the most screen time out of all of them. Anastasia's probably the second girl that gets the most screen time, just because of the end stuff, with her being the spy, obviously. Um, uh, sorry, I have other plans. I'd love to spend, <laughs> yeah. No, no idiot would be like, no, I don't want to spend my day with a hot model uh, slash actress. And you're probably like, well, maybe I'm not into those type of people. I'm like, Shh. You know what you're thinking. You want to go out with hot Greek models. Duh. But anyway. <laughs> um, and I like, I like her design. I just like her outfit and everything with that. Um, a bit more different from the other girls, obviously. Because, you know, Zombie looks like a maid. Sakura looks like your standard, like... Kabona wielding, uh, wearing samurai, Hatsuho's like a shrine maiden, which obviously is different because of her personality. But and then Clarice looks a little bit more normal with her more. Her attire is more Western, although it makes sense in this game because this game has kind of a you can see what people walking around with Western style attire. So, but yeah, Clarice has a more standard skirt and, and top, like that would be more you know European maybe. But you know, Anastasia has more. Dramatics for the uh, flair for the dramatics, you know, and all this other stuff. She almost kind of reminds me of a Bond girl almost with that little gun of hers. Kind of reminds me of like, oh, which Bond? Guys, it's been forever really since I've sat down and watched the James Bond films, like any of them really. I haven't really watched most of the modern ones though. I haven't really been a big fan of a lot of the modern James Bond. I don't know why. Uh, I kind of. I'll admit I'm more of the a fan of the old ones, it was like Sean Connery and all the all the other um, stuff. But maybe that's just old nostalgia type of thing. I don't know. But anyway, but yeah, she kind of reminds me of Bond Girl with that, like just the pose and the the small gun that you could holster in your on your ankle or something like that. You know, um, I forgot. Uh, it looks like a Derringer almost, except it's slightly more dangerous than a Derringer. But. <coughs> But yeah, just the whole idea of her betraying the team and then, then you know, coming back um, is more interesting than the childhood friend storyline. Of course, for me, you know, I, I have a bias for the for that type of stuff. So. Oh yeah, she did always talk about wanting to go see a play with us during the course of the game. It kind of makes sense that, that, that our actual date would be going to see one of the plays she talks about, the Kabuki stuff. Because she's a total weeb. Same as Elena or whatever. No. There's nothing wrong with liking other cultures. It's just, it's more of a joke and joke from that, that type of community with how 
Um, for those who don't know, Weeb is basically a, someone of not of Japanese culture fawning over Japanese culture. So you can be a weeb from any culture outside of Japan. As long as you're a super big fan of Japan culture outside of Japan, you're a weeb. Some people accept the mock or others are like, I'm not a weeb. Yeah. I appreciate the Japanese culture to an extent, but I wouldn't say I'm like a super, super into it, if that makes any sense. Because there's a lot of things about Japanese culture that's a bit odd. You know, that I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. Um, but the only reason I like it, like, as much of it as I do, is because of video games, really, because I grew up on a lot of that, so I was kind of... Although early video games kind of technically try to cut a lot of the specifics about Japanese culture away from it, so it would be kind of more for, e kind of more for everyone type of situation. I don't think there was kabuki plays about Christmas trees and stuff like that. What type of plays are you talking about? Hey, I wouldn't mind wedding Anastasia. It's kind of weird, actually, that Anastasia, oh, other than Azami, Anastasia is the only other girl that doesn't have like a kissing moment with uh, with Kazami at the end of her ending, which is odd. You think? I guess maybe it's because she been uh, through the word games, your happiness, a girlfriend. Yeah, <laughs> don't a lot of guys. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. Maybe it's because she was never expecting to have a scene like that, unlike the other girls who kind of dream. Well. Sakura and and, and, uh, and Claris clearly dream about that type of stuff. Um, obviously, Azami doesn't, and Hatsuho is her own beast. And Anastasia, maybe because what she was striving for to be being the spy and doing all this bad stuff to see her parents, that she never thought it come to that. So she's a bit more embarrassed. So she never shows. Maybe that's because she's such a good actress that she could never actually show actual physical expression. You know, like kissing and all this other stuff. I don't know. I, I'm probably making enough crap, but... Wow, that's actually a really nice outfit right there, that, uh, that, uh, dress. A special day, Anastasia. A special promo I can marry a date with Anastasia. Our fate is written in the stars. But yeah, I just like her, you know, feelings on, uh, she's more wistful and everything, or, like, more thoughtful about things. I don't know. Even when she gets mad, it's never, um... Uh, oh, I didn't realize that she has an extra thing outside of a, her date. Huh. Well, let's do this little side quest then, why not? Usually the girls don't have a little extra thing after their date. It's usually you can talk to them, but that's it. Well, this episode might be a bit longer than expected. I mean, heck, Anastasia is like almost the same height as, as Kamiyama, so they make a good couple. Because there's the same type of height. Yes, that's, that's what, how that works. I don't know about that. We put it that way. Are we? Are you getting married? Why don't we get married? Marriage is the death of all joy of life. For a lot of guys and some gals, that's kind of true. Because you kind of have to give up a lot of stuff if you're mar marrying someone. Not that the, I don't think I have anything wrong with marriage, but I think too many people... Um, actually, that was kind of hot, her in a wedding dress, actually. Um, <laughs> your father's dead, dude. But I want to be the husband. Um, but yeah, a wedding, too many people jump into weddings, it seems like. That's probably why, at least in my country, actually I think it's even the world, why the divorce rate's like was like 55% or something like that? It's crazy. It's almost like too many people just marry because they feel like they have to get married. In a lot of cultures, getting married means you can write off taxes and all this other stuff. I think that's why a lot of people, well, other than it being like a religious institution, which I think, I think marriage wasn't even a thing until like, like, um, I know it's B, it was during the BC times where at some point marriage became a thing, but before that it wasn't, it wasn't as big of a deal. It wasn't until like a certain point in history did marriage become like a more like you have to do it type of situation. Nowadays, like modern times, it's still there, but I've noticed it's not, people don't get married as often, maybe because of the divorce rate, people are slowly, and of course in a lot of cultures, men aren't dating as much as they are. Like there's like, even in Japan, there's a like a, a culture stuntness going on because a lot of men aren't getting married or having children. You know, uh, and a lot of women aren't aren't dating men, or they're trying to. They don't want to date down. So yeah, it's it's definitely what's going on over there. Is, I mean, it's happening in a lot of countries, but what's going on over there is definitely definitely a cultural cultural like uh, 
miscommunication on it. Um, yep, Christmas show going on tomorrow. But uh, all right, so let's go back to the thing and go on the night date, which you obviously know where we're gonna go. But uh, me myself, I'll probably never get married, frankly, because that stuff just doesn't interest me. And I'm too much. I think I'm per me personally. I think I'm too much of a selfish person to even would would even be able to like. Because you know, marriage is supposed to be like a. Well, okay. Originally, it was just to, you know, for a lot of times, it was just to combine two families and their funds and stuff like that. Uh, you know, there's a bit more. There's a bit more like money riding on it, dowries and all that fun, fun jazz. Um, but yeah, for me, I don't know. Just I'm too selfish. I don't. I don't th feel like I'd put enough into it. I probably, if I got married, I probably be one of those people that get divorced and mainly because I wouldn't be. <laughs> I wouldn't be putting all my all into it. You know what I mean? I mean, who knows what the... I mean, I've lived half my life already. Who knows what the other half will bring, but I really doubt it. But uh, that's me, you know, not... You know, some people some people want to do that and other people don't. And that's just how it is. I'm probably in one of those statistics where it's just like, hey, because of society, I don't... Or what's going on, you know, I don't want to do it. Ah, oh, my wife. Yeah. I really gotta stop saying crap like that. <laughs> I only do it in the con. I would never say that if I was playing like a Western game, but if I'm playing a Japanese game, I always feel like you need to say that because of the, the type of scene you're in. But. A little outing, huh? But we just saw each other this morning. Well, I think it's a good call it part two of the date, I guess. I kind of wish this game did have a scene where if you dated multiple girls that, that there was like a, a fight scene of you going, hey, he was going out with me and blah, blah, blah. But, but I guess that'd be too much to, uh, to add in or code in or whatever. They have the Ferris wheel. Surprise, surprise. But at least each girl's reaction in the Ferris wheel is different. Yeah, you know, so give it that much. You've never ridden a Ferris wheel. How can you say you've lived if you haven't ridden the Ferris wheel? It's kind of interesting how, like, it's almost like Anastasia's, like, date is, is almost more mature because they talk about marriage and all that. So none of the other girls ever talk about, they don't even talk about dating or anything like that. I mean, I know she's probably joking with you an extent about marriage, but it's, it's like she considers it, you know. But the other girls just haven't even gone out on a date or hardly any dates it seems like you know but Anastasia is she's older than the rest of the, the girls so she's been around the world because of what's happened to her so she's a bit more mature in that sense so she you know she doesn't speak of girly things more womanly things if that makes sense that's probably why she appeals to me more than the other girls because if I was a teenager I probably would appeal more to the um you know, Sakuras and Clarises because they would be more my age, that type of situation. But when you get older, your tastes and, and other things change. You know, you think about things differently. You don't think about boyish, boyish loves or whatever, which is nothing wrong with liking boyish things. It's just, it shouldn't dominate your personality when you get older because at some point you do have to mature a bit. How close should I sit to her? Let's just be creepy. Like, no, don't want to get too close. This is similar to Clarissa's thing. <laughs> She's like, I'm a, I'm a hot piece of caramel goodness. Why aren't you getting closer? Well, you do end up betraying us later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you are hiding something from us. You're going to betray us like within the next uh, couple of scenes. Oh, well, there you go. No one you can trust is. The whole, I guess, the whole idea is she always puts on an act, so she's never true to herself. Is that, is that like her theme? I guess. Because of, but what did she do before she was like hired by the demons? I guess she was an actor, but it was just. I mean, the only problem is it never. Oh. Ah, the typical lights cut out and they're forced to get close. That's a standard uh, romance uh, scene or whatever. I'd probably say uh, out of, well, 
well, we have, we've got one way to go, but I'd say probably Anastasia is probably my, my favorite just date and scene in general overall, because it seems more like a, a standard romance novel between two adults than the other ones are. You know, the other ones ten, tend to be like those romance ones for, for teenagers, where it's just like, they're aw which, I mean, makes sense, they're awkward, or, you know, they're not sure how to, like, express themselves and everything like that, but this one's more like you could see in a romance novel type of situation. I like that very much. No, I can't. My hands, her chest. Oh, no! Yeah, the typical, even though it could clear it was an accident, but in Japan, they gotta over-exaggerate it. No need for words, just action. I mean, even Anastasia's song it seems like one of those lounge singer type of songs, you know, that you would hear in like a, um, you know, singing about love or whatever. <laughs> I wasn't trying to be romantic, but I guess I somehow stumbled into to love. I think that's the name of a book, isn't it? Stumbled into love or whatever. But anyway, that's uh, that's uh, Anastasia's date scene. Uh, yeah, probably. I mean, I mean, I think. Well, she's either my second favorite or my favorite just because of the situation. But we got one more girl to go and one more date to go on. The fiery shrine maid herself, Hatsuho. How will she deal with the sudden attraction and uh, intimacy? We'll find out next time in the next episode of Soccer Wars. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.